Tennis grips. Well, there are probably as many tennis grips as there are tennis players, but there are some basic ones and important ones that you have to use for particular shots. The most basic and classic grip is the Eastern grip. It's used on the forehand when you hit a forehand ground stroke, and it's basically what we call the shake hands grip, okay? So you put your hand slightly to the right of the middle, and you always want to look at your grip, by the way, with your racket in this position. Don't put your racket in this position or this position. Always have the racket in this position when discussing grips and when finding out what grip you have. So Eastern grip is here, shake hands, almost like I'm shaking hands with the racket. A very prevalent grip today for the forehand is what we call a semi-western grip, where we move the hand slightly to the right. So it's slightly underneath the grip. My fingers are slightly underneath the grip. That's a semi-western. It creates a lot more topspin, and that's a big thing in today's tennis. And another grip not so prevalent and not recommended is a western grip, where I turn my hand even further to the right, so it's almost underneath the racket. And that creates a tremendous amount of topspin, but also creates a lot of problems because you can't get underneath a low ball and it's very, very hard to hit the ball deep. So, Eastern, semi-Western, Western. Now, going the other direction, we have what we call the Continental Grip. The Continental is vital for three shots. First, the serve. You cannot be a master at the game of tennis without using a Continental Grip for the serve. Also, it's vital to learn to volley with a continental grip. And of course, the overhead, like the serve, same motion, you wanna use a continental grip. So those are the basic grips in tennis. Continental, Eastern, Semi-Western, and Western. That's it. Tennis pros these days, when they hit their forehands, are typically using the Semi-Western grip. Simplest way to find the Semi-Western grip, put the racket on the ground, pick the racket up in this position, you're basically ready to go. This is not a natural volley grip though, that's why Joe mentions the Continental. So you need, if you're going to play with the Semi-Western, when you come to the net, you need to change your grip to the Continental grip. Also, where your hand is on the grip is important. Most tennis players that play at a high level hold the racket at the very end of the grip, almost so my little finger is at the very bottom. You don't have to hold it there. When you first learn tennis, sometimes it's a good idea to choke up so that the racket is a little shorter, you have a little bit more control. So, at the end, when you get good at the game, maybe a little higher when you start out. 